Another trend that we found there was that bands generally seem to be getting younger, which might not have been the case a couple of years ago. And here to prove it are three lads from Sunderland who have to be seen to be believed. They're called the Toy Dolls, and we caught up with them on backshift at a sweaty little gig not a million miles away from Horden Colliery. The band have quite a following in the area, and even managed to drag a rather famous Radio 1 DJ along to see them, who just aired the single a night before. So, here from Wearside, with their tribute to the naughty night spots of Sunderland, are the Toy Dolls with the incredible Olga. become the champion of unknown bands and what a nice boy like him was doing in a place like this. You get fed up with like, the, the regular routine, going to some big hall in London, seeing people getting paid for being famous, you know, when all they have to do is turn up, play the last LP very loud, that kind of thing, and uh, you just get bored with that, so I found I'd rather go out to little places and see bands play that... I'd sooner go to somewhere and see like, three or four people I'd never heard of, you know, most of the time they're terrible, but every once in a while you get a good one, you know. You must get an awful lot of demos sent in to you. Do you manage to listen to them all? Well, I do get a lot of demos, yeah. It's, 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 it's like an occupational hazard. What happens is that people send them to you, you know, and then they'll come to you and say, we sent you a demo last Tuesday. Have you heard it yet? And I always carry a photograph, which you can't see, but have it there, which is a picture of me and a pile of demos. I've got about 1,200 of them at home at the moment. I get about uh, 10, 12, 15 a day. Could you enlarge a little bit on what you've seen tonight? You can tell they're a northern band, you know, or they, you get the same sort of thing over, over the border in Scotland, where bands have to earn a living, not just being terribly hip and being uh, aloof and elusive, you know, and, and difficult. Um, they have to actually go out and earn a living. So the bloke there, your man, is a, is a really good entertainer, almost like a musical tradition, you know, going back like 100 years or so. I mean, he's a really good entertainer. I think they're better off being a really good night out in the North East than just being another band scuffling in London. It doesn't matter, you know, if they go on to become famous and, and wealthy and so on. 
that's, that can be very destructive, you know. I mean, I'd like to be that little lad in the band here, you know. I mean, I think that's really good. I'd love to be as uh, exuberant as he is and uh, just be able to get out there and do it. And people are glad you're there and people are glad to see you. It's very good. Good advice from John Peel.